hey hi what's going on guys welcome to part second on CRUD management system guys in this video series we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create an entire application using the database called MySQL and in order to deal with database connections or any kind of MySQL queries we're gonna use the PHP Envil PDO class guys uh, though we would be using, you know, we would be building classes, we would be working with methods, I strongly recommend you to have some basic idea of PHP. If you are a newbie, then it would be really, really difficult for you to understand what, what exactly is going on. So let me show you on the database I created for this entire video series that I'm going to go to my PHP my admin and here is one called crud that's C R U D and inside it there are two useless tables one called users and tickets they have nothing to do with the entire application just in order to show you how to switch inside tables and what you're going to do I have created these two tables but you can actually relate your in your own application your website or blog whatever you want to do with it so I have downloaded this CRUD template from my website where you know it gives me some basic uh, files out here uh, one called create new there is a delete.php edit index inside views I have a header.php file libs is an empty folder CSS we have you know some amount of CSS styling out there inside JS uh, there is a reference to jQuery because we would be using jQuery a little bit and here is a bootstrap folder that you can actually download from twitter.github.com <coughs> so very first we need to create a config file from where we can switch our database at any point of time without disturbing our actual application so out here I'm gonna create a new file let's name it to config.php okay and here PHP I'm gonna you know give myself some note database configuration it's gonna be database config file okay and here I'm gonna say uh, define very first like we would be defining uh, different <coughs> variables and their values out here so probably it needs to be like this define uh, first I'm gonna say the DB name like that would be the database name we're gonna deal with and here uh, I'm gonna say crud for this particular example here I'm gonna say define DB uh, host they're gonna be local host for most of the time and here would be define DB user like the user who have the rights to deal with database and have rights to run different queries so for me it's gonna be root okay and here would be define db password <coughs> or we can use db pass that would be fine and i don't have any password for my local database but i strongly recommend you do have if you're if you're gonna actually deploy it on actual server so guys that's all with this particular config file uh next thing i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go inside the core uh this particular folder gonna contain all the classes that we're gonna build in order to support our application so the very first class that we need to create is a class called database.php so this particular class will uh, go ahead and will let us create a database connection at any point of time uh, you know we want to create a connection so here uh, I'm gonna open PHP tags here I'm gonna say class call database okay and guys out here on the top I would be creating a couple of variables so that I can use all those variables inside all the functions I'm gonna create uh, under this class so the very first one would be a protected variable called dbcon so it would be like protected dollar dbcon okay uh, the next one would be public dollar db name like what would be our database name okay uh, next would be public dollar db host here would be public dollar db password and in the very last would be dollar db user 
Okay, guys. Now what we're gonna do is very first we're gonna include our config file here so that we can actually grab the values from this file and we can pass them out here. So here I'm gonna say include once config dot php. Okay, and here uh, I'm gonna say this would be equals to db name like the one reference we created out here and here I'm gonna say db host will be db host db password will be db pass and db user will be db user okay so it's quite simple and there is no rabbit signs out here <coughs> And guys next we're gonna create a method inside it or probably if you want you can call it a function and I'm gonna say function call connect so with the name it's quite obvious that did that this particular function will go ahead and let us create a connection with the database so here I'm gonna say function connect and here I'm gonna say you know a try and a cat statement like uh, if we are we are just trying to make a connection with the database and in any case if we are not able to do that we're gonna you know uh, get the error as an exception out here so uh, catch the exception okay guys so out here I'm gonna say dollar this now guys a lot of time I do get uh, you know comments on my website what is a dollar this guys it's a rule of any programming language that you cannot access the variables of one function into another function so like if I'm gonna create a variable here called dollar name okay and here I'm gonna say dollar name to John so I can only use this variable dollar name inside this particular function called connect if I'm gonna create one more function called blah blah I cannot use the, the uh, variable called dollar name but let's say I want to use this uh, variable called dollar name in all the functions I want to create I want that functionality so in that case what I can do is instead of defining this function out here I'm sorry I'm really sorry this variable out here inside this function I can define it out here so in that case I can easily reference to this variable in any function by using dollar this so for name I can say dollar this name okay so that's the use of uh, dollar this so I'm gonna remove all this from here so that we can actually you know focus on our database connection so here I'm gonna say dollar this DB con like the one we created out here on the top so here I'm gonna say dollar this DB con will be equals to a new instance of PDO class now now guys what is this PDO class where it is you don't have to worry about it it's already inside the P inside PHP and PHP will take care of it by itself so here I'm gonna say a new instance of PHP uh, here I'm gonna say MySQL host like what would be the host will be equal to dollar this again as this variable does not belongs to this particular function it belongs to the class that is the reason we need to use dollar this db host like the one out here on the top then would be db name like what would be the database name again dollar this uh, db name okay and finally here I can say dollar this db user and dollar this the password for that particular user and I believe that would be all fine finally I can say return dollar this db con okay and you know, you know like if there would be any error we're gonna you know catch that particular error so I'm gonna say uh, PDO exception dollar e and here I'm gonna say return dollar e and get message like what's the message you're getting at the time of error so I'm gonna grab that either I believe that's all from this particular class now we can build one more class and we can actually you know test our connection whether we are able to make any connections with the database or not so what I'm gonna do is out here I'm gonna create a new file called class dot manage database dot PHP okay and out here I'm gonna again open the PHP tags I'm gonna create a new class called manage database okay and guys here very first I'm gonna create a public variable called dollar link 
and here I'm gonna say function construct now guys a construct function is something every time we're gonna you know run this class no matter what this function will run automatically uh, if you're gonna you know create any other function like if I'm gonna say function blah blah here okay like this so every time I need to run this function I have to call this function but a construct function is something that you don't have to call it will run automatically every time this particular class will be initiated so uh, what we're gonna do is guys out here we have only wrote the function to make a connection but we are not making any connection till now so once we're gonna call this particular function then only we would be able to make a connection with the database so that's what we're gonna do inside our construct function so here I'm gonna say include once class dot database dot PHP okay and here I'm gonna say <coughs> dollar con like any random variable would be a new instance of this particular class that we created called database okay and here I'm gonna say dollar this link that means the variable we created outside of this function inside the class so here we're gonna say dollar this link will be <coughs> equals to dollar con and this particular function called connect so let's create the function called connect okay <coughs> so guys and finally I'm gonna say return dollar this link because every function do return something so we're gonna let this function know what you what you should return so guys now we are able to create a database class and we are able to run uh, the function in order to make a connection so out here we're gonna test that uh, very first I'm gonna say dollar something okay will be equals to a new instance of this class now that would be managed database and probably here I'm gonna say echo dot or something and let's see whether we are able to make any connections or not and guys since we are actually you know okay let me give you an example here so I'm gonna go to crud and here I'm gonna go inside core and I'm gonna go to uh, you know class called manage database and guys you will notice include one config.php we are not able to open that particular file the reason is uh, we are inside this particular folder called core and the file config is you know just one uh, position down from this folder so we need to do like this here it says undefined property database dollar user online number 14 let's check out what's the problem okay that would be dollar db user and here would be dollar db password so that would be db password it's db actually come back refresh it says object of class manage database could not be converted to a string okay the reason is because I'm just you know trying to echo it out let's remove it and guys we don't have any error that means uh, we are uh, you know successfully able to make a connection with our database and if you are getting any error then you need to you actually you know check out this file or any other file where it shows you the error is and guys I believe that's all from this particular video in the next video we're gonna do a lot of stuff so I will see you guys next time goodbye